Welcome to Flight 89 highlights of Discover and the International Space Station. It's a lot of people involved in uh, preparing the EVA and also uh, executing the EVA. It's not only the two guys going outside. We have a couple of people with us in the airlock who help us suit up, make sure we get into the kind of inner airlock where we eventually depress. And when we do the uh, EVA itself, there's people inside who actually tell us all the time what to do and uh, which is next step and help with the uh, troubleshooting. And on ground, the whole time was during the preparation and during the EVA. A lot of people following our instructors, our trainers, the controllers, and whenever something is a little bit off, they immediately give good uh, advices to us. As Christopher uh, alluded to, it, it's a big event in preparing uh, two individuals for a spacewalk. And uh, it's not just the, uh, the folks that are helping them get dressed, which uh, takes about two and a half hours, a two and a half hour effort uh, to get them out the door once we start in the morning. And uh, that, that's already a good half day that's put in. But, uh, but in addition to the biomed data that is being uh, downlinked to the ground for the doctors, uh, you can see that the, uh, the ground is also monitoring all the systems, including the EMUs, the spacesuits. And uh, we also have a camera that's uh, on us where they're watching uh, how we're handling the equipment and making sure that everything seems right to them. There you see uh, Nicole on the uh, UIA panel uh, throwing some, some switches for, uh, for some oxygen hoses that go into the, uh, to the EMU. And, uh, and there you see her working the uh, display control uh, module, uh, uh, checking the health of the uh, EMU suits, making sure that uh, everything is, is working properly. So the logistics module that came up in Discovery's payload bay is attached onto space station with only 16 bolts. And unfortunately, one of those bolts became jammed, and uh, Bob Thirsk and I were tasked with removing that bolt and then replacing it with one. And uh, it's uh, really good that we had such excellent training on the ground. This is one of those tasks that you typically don't expect to do. And uh, we were able to uh, remove this successfully and uh, is completely because of the great training that we had received and the excellent procedures that have been sent up from the ground for us to execute today. And the, um, the mechanism that we're working on includes a bolt, which is on the uh, station side, and a nut, which is on the MPLM side. So we have to remove the, uh, the bolt and the nut. Here you see us working on the nut in weightlessness. It's got a little bit of inertia there, easy to pull apart. So we're on the MPLM side here. And uh, we'll, in a few minutes, we'll work on the bolt remove that and then also has something called an actuator which is a, a motor that drives the, the bolt in and out. It's really important that we get this uh, bolt off. If it doesn't come off then uh, the MPLM cannot be unburst. That would not be very good. So um, here we are still taking it at, uh, apart. There's some guide uh, alignment guides there as well. Everything went very, very smoothly. Procedures were sent up to us. Uh, they were viewed yesterday, sent up to us uh, overnight and uh, we performed uh, the procedure just as written and everything went smoothly. Kind of tight quarters that we're working in, uh, using uh, station's complement of, of tools. Lighting is very important when you're working in some of these nooks and crannies on this space station. There are tons of nooks and crannies on this station, and if you don't have good lighting, uh, you just can't do your job. It's one of the first things I learned up here. If you've got lighting, you can do your job. That, what you're looking at there is a little paddle called an RTL. Back to the EVA prep, and we've uh, got the guys all suited up, got the helmets on, and we're getting ready to uh, take them off of the stands and put them into the crew lock, the actual part of the airlock that goes to vacuum so that they can go out to space. In addition to our uh, work schedules up here, we have a little bit of time to, to stay uh, fit so that when we return to Earth, uh, we can function during the entry and the landing and everything and be good to go after we all get on the ground. This is the uh, A-RED aboard station, which is a, a weightlifting machine that works in zero-G. It's uh, important to kind of get the technique of this thing because it's uh, some tempo involved to keep it all out there so it's not bouncing off the hard stops and, uh, and so on. A little bit of a 
computerized display there too to show you what you're doing with the uh, the reps and uh, again as Tim mentioned earlier with the training I had a lot of training on this uh, in 1G on the ground and that was outstanding training to have me ready to go but uh, it's just a little bit different in space. minutes ago you saw Tim Coper and me uh, remove the, the failed bolt and nut. Now we're installing a, a spare one. The station has uh, spare parts. That's the way that uh, we designed the station to be modular. Things can um, provide spares and get things replaced when required. And uh, here again you see the headlight that I'm using. Just pulling the, uh, the bad bolt out and getting ready to put the new bolt in. A little bit later this evening, I'm going to connect a computer called a CPA up to the uh, to the new uh, bolt and actuator that, you, that we just installed. And uh, the ground will do a checkout of the bolt to make sure it can retract properly. And so it'll be able to do its function along with the 15 other bolts on the day when we uh, demate the MPLM from the station. That's still two or three days away from, from now. A little bit of cleanup work here. Again, tight quarters. And that's the, um, the bolt that's uh, coming out. It looks innocent, but uh, it looked like it would, I mean, tell what you told us, that it was binding up a little bit in the, uh, the nut that it um, goes into. I just want to emphasize uh, what something that Tim said a minute ago, and we train for a lot of things that we don't really expect to do, but um, this is one of these situations where um, our skills were required. We have generic skills that allow us to do a, a variety of tasks on orbit. When an expedition crew launches, we never know exactly what type of task we'll be performing, so we do have the skills and know the systems enough that uh, the ground can, with good communication, with good procedures, we can, um, we can take care of the station. And Tim's just putting the, the bolt in now. Of course, we'll torque it up to the, the correct tolerances that are required. 